log in to the AXA console with your assigned credentials. Click on sign in. Once you are logged into the page, go to manage app section under which select new app option to create an app ID. Subsequently provide the app ID name and click on next. In our instance, we will have it named as AXA Web Exchange. Click on next. Once we have created the app name successfully, go on the web app option here. Go to the profile section where it says edit profile. Set the profile for the web app to include the metrics that needs to be collected. In our instance, we will also collect JS function metrics, geolocations and browser login. Click on save current settings as a new profile and give the name for your profile. Click on save. And your profile is set to collect this data. Copy the script tag and paste it on the first landing page or the layout page. Usually it can be a single page or a multiple page depending on the design of the page. Now we will navigate to the web server and simply ensure that the script tag is added to the index.html and layout page of the web application. In order to do that, we need to open the main web folder. Right click on index.html and simply in the head section copy and paste the script and click on save. We will repeat the same steps with the layout page that we have. The name of that page for this application is include top.jsp. It can be a single page or multiple page depending upon the way the web application is designed. Once we have saved it, we will go ahead and interact with the web application as an end user. We can see the page being loaded here. In order to understand the metrics behind it, we will see the page load in the developer section. In the developer tools, we can see that the metrics has been started collected and we can also see that the data is being downloaded. This is the script that monitors the user interaction on the web application and post browser metrics after the interaction is done. So let us begin our journey as a normal user on this ticket change application. We'll click on sign in, click on submit. And just as a normal user, I will browse for concerts and try to book a ticket. In the back end, it is recording all the clicks and the steps that I'm doing and is posting it to the AXA console. I'll complete the transaction and you can see I have placed an order number. In the session section, we can see our app AXA Web Dictionary started reporting data. It shows the platform, the application version and it shows the last connected time of the application here. We can click on the session to see more details of what the session has reported. Over here, we can see the HTML response time an HTML request, so 14 number of HTTP requests is being made by the application. We can see all the transaction that happened here, speci uh, specifically the app events, the network calls, and the separate 
events call that was made by the application. After analyzing the events generated by the web application in the AXA console, let us see how we can create JavaScript errors and how is it being captured by the AXA console. In order to do that, let us go to our web application. Now let us add two JavaScript errors on our index.html page. Let us see whether the errors are caught by the AXA server or not. In order to do that, right click on index.html and open it with an editor. You can see we have already added two JavaScript files here. One is a syntax error and another is a runtime error that we will get. Now let us close this, let us click on save, close this page and reload it again on our console. Once we reload the page, you can see over here there is an error that says uncaught syntax error unexpected token, which is an expected behavior because we purposely added it to fail. We can also see uh, the data being collected and sent to the AXA console. Let us now check on the AXA console whether it was able to capture the JS error or not. Let us go to the sessions again. And we can see a new session being assigned here. We'll click on the session. And now you can see that the JavaScript error is being reported here. We observe here that not only does AXA capture the error, but gives essential information to the developers to troubleshoot the issue by providing us with the line number, column number, the URL, and the type of error that has been causing the JavaScript errors to come on the web application. Let's now filter our data to reflect data only coming from our application, AXA Web Exchange. In order to do that, click on All Apps and select AXA Web Exchange and click on Apply. When you click on the total number of sessions, you can see the two sessions here. Clicking on the app overview will give us the total number of HTTP requests and total number of page hits. Now we can see in app performance all the network performance related data. Uh, we can see the URL ranking, the problematic URLs, the application performance. We can also check in application crashes and errors. So once we click on this, since there is no crash and uh, we don't see anything reported over there, we can see the JavaScript errors that we got today. It says the 9.1% of pages that are error that are having error data. We can also see the number of errors that has occurred. So it is counting by the number of times the page has loaded. If you point to your cursor here, you can see the number of errors. So we have uh, one type error and one syntax error appearing 14 times. You can scroll down by the based of uh, on the basis of error that you have received here. And you can also see the pages that is causing the error. So this will help you troubleshoot. Uh, a developer can click on this and know the session that is causing the errors. You can click on app usage to check uh, user by platform, user by carrier and user activities. It's uh, similar to the one that we see in mobile application data. We can also see the app sessions. Uh, since they're all active session now, after completion, we can see more data under this AXA web exchange. When we go to app screens, it gives us a pretty good idea on the, the screens that we have for the web app. So we need to click on web app here. We can click on the flows to see the way uh, the user is interacting with the web application. So this is one typical flow uh, that the user is interacting with. You can see uh, from the landing page, it goes to another page. And this is another flow that the users are interacting on the web application. At this point, we can successfully conclude that the web app is integrated with AXA and it reports all the essential parameters back to the AXA console.